What is up everyone, Garrett here, and uh, welcome back to another video. It's been quite a while actually, probably about 9 to maybe almost a year at this point. Um, without getting too much into why I wasn't making videos, I'm now going to start getting back into making videos, and it's something that I'm really, really excited to do. Um, maybe I'll make another video on where I've been for the last year or so later, but without getting too much into that, what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be doing something in Flutter. Now, Flutter, without getting too much into that as well, is a framework that Google developed or Google is supporting um, for making native mobile apps on both iOS and Android. And you can do that with just one code base, which is the using the Flutter framework as well as a language that Google also created, I believe, called Dart. Now, I don't yet feel comfortable enough with Flutter or Dart to make an entire series on how to use both of the two of them. Uh, however, I do think that there's definitely some value as I'm learning it to make some videos and maybe some medium articles, which I've already written one, on how to do common things that kind of just stump me or that I find really interesting or something like that. And that's what we're going to be doing in this video. One of the most common things, and actually I'm, I'm working on my own apps at the moment. And so in doing that, one of the most common things that I kind of found I needed to do or that all apps do is they have some sort of navigation, right? There, there are buttons that you can tap around the app that will bring you to a new page or show some different information or something along those lines. And moreover, one of the most common ways of doing that is using something called the bottom navigation bar. Now, I don't know if that's a Flutter term or if it's something that is just industry-wide that all mobile apps have. But nevertheless, I have a picture of it here that I kind of created. Um, so imagine that this right here in the middle is your app screen, right? And you have this red box on it. And down here, you have these three different icons or three different buttons. And clicking on each one of these buttons might bring you to a new screen. When I was trying to do that, what I found is that as good as the Flutter docs are, and they, they do a pretty good job of explaining everything, it's very well written. But even with that, there are some things when you kind of the farther down you dig that I just don't think they're very well done. And this is one of those things that I looked for a long time through the Flutter docs and was not able to find how to do this. So the first thing that we're going to do is we need to set up our file a little bit here. This is the main.dart file, uh, which is the first file that Dart actually comes with, or that Flutter, a new Flutter project comes with. There's more stuff in this file if you were to just start it up. I deleted a bunch of it because having you guys watch me delete it probably would be a waste of time. But I want to show you now that we're at this point with all of the clutter kind of taken away, how we're going to change this file, add a couple of different files so that we can get the effect that we want. And I have the simulator open so uh, we can see exactly what we are doing. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to delete this from home. Um, actually, yeah, we can delete that from home. And what we're going to do is we're going to come down here, return a couple lines, and we're going to close that off. The next thing we're going to do is type in class, and we will call this my app state and we'll say extends there will be a lot of things in here that might not make sense because i'm not really explaining it but i will have other videos on explaining uh, exactly what some of the smaller intricacies of flutter are so this is going to extend state and like that um, and then this is going to get this my app thing right here now inside of here what we're going to do is we're going to have a new method in here, not that one, called create, which apparently won't show up, but it is create state. So we're going to type in over ride, and then this will be create state. Oh, wait, no, I know why this isn't working. This needs to say state full. And now this will say create state and do that for us. Now this goes here and it needs to be like a function kind of. And now we're pretty much ready to go. We need to first use something called the scaffolding widget. And so we're going to do that like so. We will reformat that a little bit. And we will say at bar is of type at bar, which is just a widget. 
and we'll reformat that. I'm just hitting Option Shift F on a Mac. I'm not sure what it is for Windows. And this will be the title. I'm just gonna, excuse me, add a um, pretty standard, you know, setup here, and we'll say bottom nav bar video. And then what we're gonna do is let's try if you hold if you're on a Mac and you're using video, Visual Studio Code, which is what I'm using, you can do function key control and then F or function five and um, or F5 and that'll basically have VS Code run the debugger and you can launch uh, the app here. So this is the app that we've just created and I know that this works because we can come down here and say body and then make this just be a text widget which says data and there we have data right there. So we know that that's working pretty awesome. What we're going to do however is not just have that say data. We're going to come back up to the top and we're going to say um, we're going to create a variable which will be an integer type because Dart is a statically typed language and we'll say this is the selected page and we'll set that equal to zero. We're going to use that as an index value later and then we'll have, we'll, we will sorry we will have a final um, another variable using the final keyword and I'll go into what that does later but that's a dart specific thing and we'll call this page options and we'll set this equal to an array and inside of here for now we'll just say text item one and then we'll have item one item two and item three then we'll come back down here and we will say um, that this is going to be equal to the body, which is what we're actually going to be displaying. That's going to be equal, right, to, not that, to the page options and then whichever one was selected. So the index of the one that they selected. And so now we're going to add the bottom bar, which will basically be the thing that determines what the user can click on. So this is going to be of type bottom navigation bar and inside here we will have a current index and we will set that to the selected page. The next thing that we're going to do is add an on tap listener um, and this is going to be an anonymous function which will take in an integer which we will call index. The next thing that we're going to do is inside of here we're going to set the state. So basically, every time they click on this, we're going to take in the actual value, the index of which thing inside of here they tapped, and we're going to set our state, which was the selected page variable, to equal the index. We just want to reformat that so that it looks a little bit better. Now, outside of the on tap, we're going to add items, and this will be an array. And each item in here will be you know, a bottom navigation item, which will have a couple things. Number one will be an icon. And for the purposes of this video, we will just use the standard material icon. So we'll say home, but without a capital. And what is wrong with this? Did it the wrong way. This does not have an S. This does have an S. It's very confusing. The title, this will be a text widget. Everything in Flutter is a widget, and that will say home. Let's copy and not do that. Let's copy. Jeez. And paste this three more times. I think it has to be like at least two. Um so we will say user, not user, we'll say is there a profile one? Profile. No, uh, we can say world, no work. How about work is good? Because I don't exactly know which material icons there are as options. And so landscape is a good one. And so um, that's why I don't really know what to type in there because you can type in whatever icon you want that material has. Now, if we go over to here, we can see now that 
what we just tried to do works. Okay. So let me really quickly make this stuff a little bit bigger for you. Let's do style. We'll say text stop. Not that text style and then we'll make the font size equal to I don't know 36 that's nice and big and we will add this to both of these so that now that doesn't work uh, I think we have to refresh this because we need to refresh the state um, more on that in a different video that's not really for this video but so now you can see actually you know what let's this is probably better if we do home and then what was the other one it was work and then like landscape or something again refresh the state by hitting function control plus uh, f5 well just hit f5 i'm hitting those buttons because i'm using the mac with the touch bar and so i need to get the function key to show up uh yeah so basically as you can see this now works now Let's take this a step further because this might, maybe this isn't so obvious to do this, okay? But this works and we're basically showing something different depending on which one I'm clicking here as you can see. But let's say that we had not stuff inside of here, like just actually the widgets inside of there. What if we had actual pages that we wanted to, to display, okay? Totally different ball game there. So let's make a couple more files. I already have a home file here, and uh, this can this can just say home. That's totally fine. And then we can add that thing there. Let's also copy and paste this. Actually, we don't need a stateful widget there. We can just say state less widget, and we can get rid of that. Let's copy and paste this, okay? We'll make a couple new files we had with all capital letters. We had work, and then the last one we had was landscape.dart, okay? We'll copy that in there, copy this in here. We'll change this to say the work page, and we'll change this to say the, no, yeah, the landscape page, okay, awesome. So we have that, we'll say landscape, page just so you can see that there is actually a difference here because right now we're just saying work and so on so we'll say the work page okay and then in home we'll say the home page right okay awesome let's now send these in here so we're gonna have to import those so we'll do an import and we will import home not click on that we will import home we will import three more things and this will be the work page. This will be the landscape page. Awesome, okay. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say uh, home, and then we will say work. We will spell that correctly though. And then we'll say the landscape page, okay. And we can put a comma there, it doesn't really matter. Now let's take a look. We have to refresh the state again. Now we have home page, we have work page, and we have landscape. And of course, you can test this out on a real device. It will work just the same. So this was something that was pretty confusing to me. It took me, I don't know, not too long, but longer than I would have liked to figure this out because it is a pretty simple idea and a pretty pretty foundational building block when you're building an app to have a bottom navigation bar like that with an icon or with some words or however you want to do it. So either way, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. And if you could, there is a little notification bell thing there. Click that so you can get a notification every time I come up with a new video because I'm going to start making a bunch of these videos from now on basically. So Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you learned something. I had a really good time making this video, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care. Peace.